It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at two Chinese beers. One, Ting Tao, premium imported Chinese lager in a green glass bottle, 4.7% ABV, 330 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. Uh, it's imported from China, so it's Chinese made beer, which I always prefer to drink the beer from its kind of original country. And then we have Lucky, Lucky Buddha, in Enlightened Beer. I always find this quite funny, this one. I've reviewed this a few times, it's quite good. Um, this one's 4.8% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. It's just got that really lovely... Really lovely etched bottle to a green glass bottle. There's the bottle cap. Now I picked these two, picked these two bottles up from. It's a place called Cardiff Discount Drinks, a place in Cardiff which, which sells like a world of beer. I can always come away because it's about five six miles away from my house. I always come away with like two boxes of beer from there. So uh, I treated myself to two Chinese lagers. So without further ado, let's get into this battle video. Let's get them out into a glass and see what we get. Using two of these pint of glasses I have. So, this is the Ting Tao. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, we've got a one finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. There is etching in the bottom of the glass. I'll just show you here. So you will get quite a, a lively carbonation, but the beer looks good. I have indeed reviewed this before too. Let's get into the Lucky Buddha. Now you can, you haven't got to go to a bottle shop to buy this beer. You can pick this Lucky Buddha up. I've, I've seen it before in Asda. You can buy it in Asda. Here we go. So this is Lucky Buddha. Again, one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, light amber colored beer. Put them both together. I would say the Ting Tao has slightly smaller carbonation. The Lucky Buddha has slightly larger carbonation, but they're generally the same color. More or less exactly the same. So, an old brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. With the, with the Lucky Buddha having slightly larger carbonation, is it going to be the worse off? Let's put this to the test. Let's get the aroma. It smells okay. Light, kind of mazy, like grainy lager, maybe rice in there. It smells quite hoppy. A little bit of stinging nettle, a little bit of lemon coming through. Let's get into the Ting Tao. That smells okay. A little bit more refined in the aroma. If I'm perfectly honest, the Lucky Buddha had a little bit of skunkiness from the green glass bottle, whereas the Ting Tao doesn't. Skunkiness is where the green glass 
the beer gets affected by the green glass bottle or the clear bottle in some cases it's called light strike google it in beer light strike in beer you, you can kind of work it out for yourselves let's get into the the ting tao then 4.7 percent abv Sweet, light, but crispy, tasty. I do like this brewery's beers. This surprised me last year. I did a kind of like a, a big supermarket lager battle and the Ting Tao kind of like, it nearly won out of all of the bottled supermarket beers, lagers. It's light, it's crispy, it's refreshing, it's really lovely and drinkable. The story is that Tintao was a port, and it was a port that was built by the Germans in China. And of course, if the Germans are going to go and build a port there, or obviously they're going to want to build a brewery there too, to be able to refresh their workers. So the story goes that this is a German recipe a German brewed beer that, that was then left to the Chinese when they finished building the port. You can taste that quality there. Crisp, light, I mean, give me four to six bo bottles of that. Job done. Right. Let's get into the Lucky Buddha then. Yeah, it's a little less refined. Carbonation is a little bit more aggressive. Little bit of skunkiness coming through in the taste. It's quite, the carbonation is quite aggressive and that kind of like, it doesn't necessarily put you on the back foot when you've just had a couple of sips of a Ting Tao, which is more kind of like, it's more refined. It's, it's just definitely more refined in, in the way that this beer has been brewed. Less carbonation. I hate to use the word smooth. It is smoother. I'd like to, I'd rather use the word refined. Funny because this was this was about three pounds fifty a bottle, the Lucky Buddha, and the Ting Tao was two pound fifty, so it's it's like a pound more for the Lucky Buddha. And it's not as good. Just got put up. A little bit put off there. <laughs> bin man come up, just picked up my black bin bags to take him away and just stared through my window at me. Big tall guy. And I was like, whoa, who's this looking for my window? But I mean, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> slightly put me off. Right, I'm ready to rate the two beers then. Uh, Ting Tao, uh, where are they based in? Well, it's going to be Ting Tao in, uh, in China. Crafted using selected malt hops and special yeast for a crisp... Pardon me, refreshing beer. That's the winner. <sighs> Lucky Buddha uh, imported into Manchester from China, brewed and bottled in China. LuckyDrinkCo.com. Yeah, it's just it's just a bit less refined. <laughs> Rating. Lucky Buddha. Six out of ten. Ting Tao, easy. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. So Ting Tao being the winner. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the fact that we put these two Chinese beers together today in a, in a video. Um, go out and try them yourselves. 
please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers